touched the heart of the place. That's a way of understanding people. Seeing something you never saw before that was always there but you were blind to. that I just live for. To just go off into the woods and make a piece of work roots me again. And if I don't work for a period of time, I feel, I do feel rootless. I don't, I don't know myself. Um, And it's, and it's very odd if, I, if I've not worked for, say, two, three weeks and then I give a lecture and talking about my work and it feels like I'm talking about somebody else. <laughs> I do need to be on my own at times. Enjoy being by myself. There are people's company I do enjoy, and there probably is a social nature too, and that I feed from that to some extent. To be honest, I, I, I think I do, I am, I am trained by people. All the, the subtleties that I am aware of, like the fact the wind has just now got a little bit stronger. And although I'm, you know, I look as calm as I did 30 seconds ago, there's these little warning bells inside going. When I make a work, I often take it to the very edge of its collapse. And that's a very beautiful balance. I am so amazed at times that I am actually alive. Uh, the work, I work with a hole on the tree. Right. 
you can see it as, as a kind of entrance, a visual entrance into the earth, into the tree, into the storm. It's an entrance there between which light both ebbs and flows. Looking into a black hole I've often described as, as like looking over the cliff edge, as this sense of being drawn into the black as you're drawn into the, the depth, the distance. But the other side of that is out of that comes growth also. Context of a tree that I know will come back to life. And there's nothing more potent to me than a, a black hole that I've made and returning later and seeing a little finger of growth, growth, a blade of growth growing in the ground of that black. And it's such a potent image. Thank you. 